what is going on? Draw2 Crew Remini here with another tutorial for you guys from Fortnite. And by popular demand, we are going to be drawing Agent Peely today. Uh, you guys have been asking ever since I drew the very first Peely uh, on this channel. And I am a huge fan of the character, despite the fact that I do not draw Fortnite um, or play Fortnite. I mean, I just love the character designs in that game. So, you know, I just. I don't know, so there's something about Peely that makes him a lot of fun. Anyway, so I've got my Peely uh, action figures here next to me, keeping me company. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got my paper in portrait mode for this. We're gonna be drawing him full body, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of divide our paper into three pretty equal uh, segments. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just dividing it like that. And I'm kind of just eyeballing uh, the the, the segments, but the top part is going to be the, the the head, middle is going to be the, the chest, the torso, and then of course these are going to be the legs. So that's kind of how I have mine uh, divided. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw a light circle right around there, more of an oval really. And from there, I'm going to draw a couple of light lines going down. So this one goes down, then this one goes a little bit more slanted and it's going to go out this way. Okay, so this section right here is going to be for the head, like I said, and we're going to draw the uh, collar like so. Okay, going from here, we're going to go down, kind of leaning forward a little bit. So we're going to have our hands, or we're going to have it going this way a little bit, you know what I mean? Like this way. Okay, then over here, we're going to start with the shoulder. Shoulder comes out like this. Okay. Think of the, uh, but the same width going down, maybe a little bit smaller. That goes like this, and then this goes out. So it's going to be the body. Round that off, so that's the two thirds of the way down, and then we're going to draw the legs. This one goes pretty much down, and then out like this just roughly for now. And the other one is going to come down this way with the feet coming out. So it gets narrow. Can you guys see that? It gets narrow and then gets wider for the shoes. It goes wide and then just round it off at the bottom. We'll figure that out later. This right here is going to draw where the, the thigh ends. There's the thigh. And then I'm going to draw line going down like so. Okay, there you go. We've got our character sort of figured out. Just uh, going to make a couple of readjustments here. Uh, the hands are going to go right around here. So um, we'll figure that out later on, actually, you know. Anyway, so there's our initial drawing for Peely. Looks easy right now. There are a couple of difficult spots, especially that hand there. That's why I'm going to save it for later. But anyway, let's zoom in on the face. And let's get started working on the details. Hey guys, this video right here is brought to you by these awesome Patreon patrons. If you are interested in knowing more about how to support this channel through Patreon, check out the link down below, patreon.com slash draw it to for more details. Anyway, let's uh, cut to commercial and then let's get back to business. All right, you guys, so here we are. We have the peely face, the peely head, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape the uh, the top part and make it look like this. If you guys can see, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a hexagonal shape and we're going to make it three dimensional. Okay. So I'm going to start with that shape right there and the shape right here. Close that off. So you have that hexagon and then bring that up. So you have that hexagon looking shape there with a couple of lines going in. There you go. Okay, for this one, we're going to make him have a more serious face. So there's one side of the face and here's the other side. Okay, you don't want to draw your lines too dark until you, uh, you've decided that, you know, uh, you want to commit to those lines. I'm going to start right here first and I'm going to draw a line from there. A very thin light line going down to the chest area there. It should go down the center of the uh, the collar. 
right around here is where we're going to draw the eyes. Before we do that, draw another line from here going to here. Okay, so as you guys can see, you got that line that goes straight down the middle of the face here. I don't know if you guys can see. And then you got this line right here. So let's draw the eyes. They're going to be semicircles like that. And actually this one I'm going to make like so. Okay, so they're actually closer to the edges here than they are to each other. There you go. And then pretty, pretty straight on mouth, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is it's going to be a triangle like that. And then same thing over here. And then just shade, shade all that in. Let's have him, let's have his peels. Uh, so let's figure that out. From here, I'm gonna start by drawing a V or a, an upside down U shape, going like this, tiny little line. And then on the other side, from here going up, and then imagine it going down to the side. Okay, you wanna connect these two, like so. Wanna double up here down here and then the other side. Just like over here. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I drew two lines going down the face there. And then they come to a point right near his eye. Just like that, just above it. Okay, now over here you want to draw the banana and then this part right here, the yellow part that sticks out in the back. And the banana part has some lines that go this way, just like a banana does. Okay, and then on this side, we'll go again above the eye here and just have it come out like this, up and then over, just rounded, go to the other side. And then just double up on those lines like that. There you go. I'm just readjusting the eyes because I'm. You don't want to make them too much like this. You want to keep the eyes sort of level. Okay, and honestly, that's all there is to the face. So let's go ahead and get started on the the torso now. Here we are. So uh, I'm going to draw a shoulder that comes out and then you have kind of the the arm. Just draw, just draw like this rounded shape right there and then have it come into the torso and then just do this. Okay. And then here are the shoulders, one line down and then connect this to that. All right, good. So anyway, let's um, find a spot kind of right here. This is where we want the uh, lapel of the jacket to, to, to go. So find a spot here, just a little bit below this line. And draw a line, a very light one, going down to that point. And then on the other side, you do the same thing. Here, going down to the point, double-breasted suit. Let's go down, and then one. And this one goes down. There you go. Let me just fix that a little bit. There you go. Okay, two buttons. One, two buttons right there. Over here, let's draw a square right in the center there. And then bow. There you go. This bow has polka dots, so feel free to add that polka dot pattern to it. 
they're not random so try to keep them kind of aligned but no biggie there you go and then of course we've got the collar which goes behind the bow like that and then the other side here like so fix the collar up a little bit and there we have it okay let's work on the lapel right around this area right here is where I want that V shape bring this to this point very lightly still and then this goes there and then up okay same thing on this side V right around here this goes up and this goes towards that point right there and then here we have the shirt going down okay two lines cool now let's work on the hands and the hands are gonna go like this okay so again So that's going to be the, the shirt underneath this jacket. This is the jacket. This is the shirt underneath. And then this goes like this. And then go towards the bow like that. Again, um, I was mentioning, it takes a long time to figure out how to draw hands properly. And the way that I'm doing it here is I'm speeding up a little bit. So I'm not giving you guys uh, too much instructions on how to draw hands because that takes forever. And honestly, I could spend a whole like hour tutorial just to show you guys how to draw hands and you don't have that time anyway. So, you know, just uh, bear with me, you guys. Pause the video if you guys need to. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the index finger and it comes out like this. Okay, as I do that, I finish the thumb. And then here we have kind of the knuckles. So it's a line for the knuckles. index finger and then each of these fingers are going to go in so that goes in like that that's the middle finger this goes in like this and then this goes in like this it gets smaller and smaller as you go to the pinky okay so there's one hand right there let me erase a couple of these so you guys can see what I mean and then over here now I'm going to draw index going across and then the thumb goes right there so here the thumb is actually going to go like that so you guys can see he's got like his hands like this like so okay the wrist is going to go like this okay and then before we continue with the rest of the hand we're going to draw a v-shape here's the shirt and I'm going to bring this to the edge like this okay and draw a line right like that and then here is where I'm going to draw the armpit okay so now we've got that hand actually my apologies I'm gonna bring this line a little bit closer and then there's the armpit okay and then we're gonna draw the other side of the arm it's gonna be right around there this is the forearm and then what you want to do is you want to try to bring the shoulder up to kind of about the same as here like that okay let me just fix a few things I can bring that a little bit closer this one goes like so okay and then seam goes like that for the jacket Okay, and then same thing over here there we go that's for the arm there I'm going to erase a few of these things that we did so that you guys can see what I'm going to do for the finger I'm gonna bring that a little bit more so it goes like this this is where I want the um, knuckles to go so that line right there bring this this way and now what you want to do is you want to bring these knuckles so that they're sort of touching sorry draw some fingers kind of towards the uh, wrist there except for this one it sticks up like that 
There you go. So it looks like he's fixing his, um, what do you call that? The wrist buttons. Okay, he's got like a watch over here. Line. This is the jacket. And this is his shirt. Okay, and then the line from here going out towards the elbow. And then the T pocket square, like that. I'm gonna make this into a rectangle. So there's the pocket square. I'm gonna fix this a little bit now. So it looks like so, there you go. Now a few more pockets. So imagine this sort of rounds off over here and then goes around to that side. What you wanna do is you want to follow it and have some pockets right here and here. There you go. Cufflinks, that's what I was trying to remember so hard earlier. He's fixing his cufflinks. Okay, there you go. And then that's fix the rest of the jacket, just going down. There we are. Okay. Now, all we have to do uh, is figure out the legs. So thighs first, of course these come together. Think of like the crotch is gonna be right around here. Bring this thigh this way. And then here we're going to have a knee. And then over here, same thing. The knee is gonna be right around here. Okay, and it's wider at the top. It gets narrower as you go further down. Okay, just bring those pants down further. It gets wider here in the calf muscles and it gets narrow again. Over here, he's got a holster and a gun. So, strap going across the calf muscle there. And then, rectangle. That goes like that. This goes like this. So, there's the hammer of the gun right here. Forgive me, you guys, I'm not too familiar with guns. And then, Two lines going across. And then now let's shape the let's make this three-dimensional. There's the handle. It comes out like this and goes down the side. And then in like that. Okay, and then let's have a strap going across. So the strap sort of goes over and goes to the other side here. And there you go. Okay. Now let's do the feet. Shoes. This goes down. This goes across and down. Okay, let's separate the soles. Here's the Sole for the heel, down, and the front. Sole. Sole. Okay, let's draw the socks. There we are. Now I'm going to draw two lines from here going, running down, towards the center of the shoe. So figure out the center of the shoe, have two lines going down, and then two lines going across like, set like that. And then this line goes towards this little separation here. And then start off with the line going across here for the um, shoelaces, and then X, and then another X. Okay. And then this just goes from here to there. 
And then same thing over here, let's draw top of the shoe, here on the side, goes like that, and then like so. And then you got the front of the shoe like this. This goes up like that. Separate the sole now. And then find the center. And then two lines going down the center like this. Goes across. And it goes like that. Okay, this goes like this. And then shoelaces. Like that. And of course the socks. And there we have it, you guys. Now, there is a pattern to his uh, jacket. You guys can take a look at it in the reference photo, which I have provided down below. You guys can check that out. I'm not going to draw the pattern just to make it, um, make it easier, I guess. Anyway, you guys, here is Peely, Agent Peely from Fortnite. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw to so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out. Links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.